In this lecture, I am going to explain about H parameters of a transistor. Now, what are H parameters? H parameters are nothing but hybrid parameters. Hybrid parameters are a transistor. The transistor constants or parameters have mixed dimensions. Mixed dimensions, hence they are called as transistor hybrid parameters. For example, for CE configuration of the transistor, the H parameters are HIE, HFE, HRE and HOE. These four are the H parameters of a transistor in CE configuration. In this H parameter HIE, you can see there are two subscripts I and E. So, the first subscript indicates whether the particular parameter that means this H parameter is input, output, reverse transfer or forward transfer. So, first subscript represent the input, output, reverse transfer or forward transfer. The second subscript represents the transistor configuration. So, for the CB configuration of the transistor, the H parameters will be HIB, HFB, HRB and HOB and for CC configuration they are HIC, HFC, HRC and HOC that means the second subscript represents the transistor configuration. So here these two parameters are mixed that means the transistor parameters have mixed dimensions hence they are named as hybrid parameters. Now, the transistor can be considered to be as a four pole network. Here you can see there are two poles in the input circuit and two poles for the output circuit. So, the left side two terminals represents input terminals and the right side two terminals represents output terminals. So, for each pair of terminals, the variables are voltage and current. Now, I1, V2 are said to be independent variables. I1, V2. That means input current, output voltage. They are said to be independent variables. V1, I2 are considered as dependent variables. V1, input voltage. I2, output current. So, I1, V2 are independent variables. Now, V1 and I2 are dependent variables, hence they can be written as the functions of the independent variables I1, V2. Hence, V1, that means input voltage V1 can be written as F of I1, V2. Output current I2 can be written as F of I1, V2. Now, taking the differentials of these equations, we will get dV1 is equal to do V1 by do I1 di1. dV1 is equal to do V1 by do I1 dV1 and plus do V1 by do V2 dV2. Similarly, di2 can be written as do I2 by do I1 do I2 by do I1 by do d do I2 by do I1 into di1 plus do I2 by do V2 into dv. So, taking the differentials, you will get these two equations. Now, for small AC signals, these partial derivatives can be considered as constants. Hence, this can be written as V1 is equal to H11 I1 H12 V2. V1 equal to H11 I1 plus H12 V2 and I2 equal to H21 I1 plus H22 V2. Now, these two equations can be written in matrix form as V1 I2 is equal to H11 H12 H21 H22 I1 V. Here, H11 H21 H21 H22 are said to be transistor hybrid parameters. Now, 
the output terminals if the output terminals are short circuited that means if a wire is connected between these two output terminals which means the output terminals are short circuited then the voltage becomes zero so in this case these two equations can be written as h11 is equal to v1 by i1 that means v1 equal to h11 i1 plus h12 in place of v2 zero therefore h11 is equal to v1 by i1 similarly h21 is equal to i2 by i1 so this h11 is said to be input impedance because voltage by current is resistance and if you consider ac signal that can be called as impedance therefore h11 is voltage by current that is input impedance h21 is output per current by input current so output by input is generally forward so this is forward current transfer ratio now if the input circuit is open which means the input current i1 equal to 0 then from these two equations that means one and two equations we will get v1 equal to h11 in place of i1 it is 0 so the equation becomes h12 equal to v1 by v2 which is said to be reverse voltage ratio here we are taking as reverse because this is not output by input this is input by output input by output hence this is reverse voltage ratio here this is output current by input current hence forward here this is input voltage by output voltage therefore it is reverse voltage ratio and h22 is i2 by v2 this is output admit admittance this is the reciprocal of impedance impedance is voltage by current admittance is current by voltage so hi hr hf h o are said to be hybrid parameters of a transistor now for ce configuration the hybrid parameters can be defined as the input impedance it is the in ratio of small change in base voltage to small change in base current Input impedance means we are considering only the input circuit. Therefore, the input impedance is voltage by current. Hence, HIE equal to delta VBE by delta IB. Change in input voltage by change in input current. So, it directly represents the resistance. Hence, the unit is ohm. So, the first parameter is input impedance, which is nothing but delta VBE by delta IB. The second parameter is reverse voltage transfer ratio, HRE. This is the ratio between small change in input voltage by small change in output voltage. Input voltage by output voltage. So that is said to be reverse voltage ratio. As this is the ratio between voltage and voltage, it gets cancelled. Hence, HRE has no units and dimensions. Now, the third parameter is forward current ratio. So, this is the ratio between change in output current. Here, IC collector current is output current. IB in is input current. Base current is input current. So, small change in output current delta IC by small change in input current delta IB at constant VCE. That means VCE is maintained to be constant. Here also, this is the ratio between current and current. Hence, HFE has no units and dimensions. Now, coming to the fourth parameter, output admittance. This is the ratio between small change in output current by small change in output voltage. If this is the ratio between current and voltage, hence this is admittance. It is the reciprocal of impedance. Hence, the unit for impedance, the, res, uh, the unit is ohm. If you reverse that, you will get mo. And Simon is also the unit of output admittance. So, HI, HR, HF and HO are said to be transistor hybrid parameters.